New question. Uh, uh, Speaker, my Francis second Middlesex. set of questions is also for the Premier regarding an ongoing criminal investigation in the conduct of her officials. Premier, the Sudbury by-election was quickly called for midwinter. You ignored what your own local party members had to say and appointed your candidate. Premier, as you know, the OPP have noted their belief that the Liberals broke the law by attempting to lure a potential candidate with a government or a political job. Premier, something stinks here. Ontario residents deserve to know what inducements were offered to keep Mr. Olivier out of the Sudbury by-election race. Well, Mr. Speaker, as I have said repeatedly in this House and uh, elsewhere, any suggestion that anything was offered in exchange for any action is simply false, Mr. Speaker. The reality is that I had made a decision. I had made a decision to appoint a candidate to appoint Glenn Tebow as our candidate in Sudbury, Mr. Speaker, and he is going to be and is a wonderful MPP. Having made that decision, Mr. Speaker, there were conversations with the former candidate, uh, the past candidate, to try to keep him involved in the uh, in the party, Mr. Speaker. That was that was the initiative because I believe, as I have said, I believe that it is important to keep people involved when they have taken part in an election, when they have been part of a party process. So we reached out to him to try to keep him involved. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, that the decision Answer. was made to appoint a candidate and. The initiative was to keep him involved in the party. Thank you. Premier, you can continue to dance around this issue or you can use the time to come clean with the people of Ontario. There can be no doubt that your Deputy Chief of Staff went to Sudbury with the intent of influencing Mr. Olivier and inducing him not to join the race. In fact, the OPP have investigated and they're of the belief that the law was broken when a government or a political job was offered. Deputy House Premier, Leader, come to what order. exactly did you or your staff or the Ontario Liberal Party offer to Mr. Olivier to step aside? Deputy Premier. Deputy Premier. Well, well, thank you, Speaker. And you know, I think this is an interesting issue, and I think it is acknowledged, Speaker, that all parties uh, do work to keep former uh, candidates. In Order. If I was absolutely sure of what somebody said, I would ask them to withdraw. But I'm not 100% sure, and I think he gets my message. Thank you. I think Ontarians actually expect more of their elected leaders, Speaker, than the politics of personal destruction, Speaker. Both the, uh, the, member from both Leeds, the Grenville, parties have appointed, come to order. appointed candidates in elections. Both the Tories and the NDP have sought to keep past candidates involved. And I guess I have a question back. If you think back to January 2009, think of back January 2009. The member from Halliburton, Kawartha Lake, Answer. Um, actually, and it might just be a coincidence, Speaker, it might be a coincidence, but on the very same day as she Thank resigned you. her seat. Thank you. Thank you. The member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke will come to order. Final supplementary. Well, Speaker, uh, back to the Premier. Premier, OPP investigator Detective Aaron Thomas says, and I quote, I believe the words spoken by both Lougheed and Cerbera to Olivier assist me in my belief the criminal code offence has been committed." Unquote. Premier, in fact, your government and your party is under three different OPP police investigations. Premier, are you saying that you had personally no conversations with Ms. Cerbera or Mr. Lougheed about Andrew Olivier in the Sudbury by-election? Speaker, as I was saying, um, on the very same day in January 2009, the member for Halliburton Kawartha Lakes Brock resigned her seat so the new leader could win and was given a paid job the very same day. The Sudbury Star says Scott trades job seat for head office job. The Sudbury Star, January 10, 2009, Progressive Conservative Lori Scott was given the job Friday of getting the opposition party ready for the next election in exchange for giving up her seat in the Ontario Legislature. The Peterborough Examiner says, in exchange for giving up her seat, Scott is taking on the enormous responsibility of election readiness chairwoman for the party. Speaker, the record speaks for itself. 